Day 14, y'all. Here we are, day 14. We are officially one week away from completing our 21-day journey together. And let me tell you, today's topic has me shifting in my seat because it's so powerful. Now, yesterday we talked about, you know, being freed from people pleasing and, you know, this whole concept of they, we put that in its proper place. <laughs> we have thrown that aside because we understand that we have to search out the things of God, the answers of God, you know, the strategies of God when we are doing things pertaining to our lives and the lives of those that we're connected to, that we are shattering norms, right? We're coming out of the confines of routine and familiarity. And we are operating in a place of sheer obedience to the word and the will of God. So with that being said, today on day 14, the topic is it's a requirement. And, you know, th this is really good, y'all. This is really good because what it brings to mind is the level of transformation that has been happening in your lives. You know, there were things in last season, even 15 days ago, that you had not thought about. There's some things that Holy Spirit has brought up and out of you in the forefront that you know you have to deal with. There are some gifts and talents. There's some things that have been awakened on the inside of you. And so you're a totally different person today than you was, than you were uh, 15 days ago, right? You're, you're different. Some things have transformed. And because of that, the things that are required in your life are different. Listen to this. When we are young, when we're babies, right, there's a certain level of attention and care that we require. We need somebody to hold us. We need somebody to feed us. We need all of that, right? But as we get older, what's required and, and what's needed changes because we change, because we grow, because we develop. Now, the requirements in our life, they become different. Same thing right now. Because there's been so much spiritual maturity and spiritual growth that's taken place over the past couple of weeks that now the things that were important to you before, they might not be important to you now. Or some things that uh, were not important now, they are important because you are different and you require these things. Some of you are going to see that you require another level of relationship, that you got to find yourself in new circles, that you got to begin to seek out people who know more than you know, so that you can glean from them. Some of you are going to discover, if you haven't already, you're gonna discover that some of your skills to carry out your purpose, that they need to be fine-tuned. And so another level of education may be required, right? Where before you kind of like, you were kind of like, well, maybe, maybe not. No, in this season, it's like, I got to do this. I must do this in order to get to the level where God is taking me. There are so many things that God is speaking in your heart. I just know that. I feel it in the realm of the spirit. There are so many ways that God is opening up your eyes. And he is going to reveal to you exactly what you need along the way. And this is the wonderful thing about God is that when he reveals it to us, he also gives it to us. I love it. But if we are not looking, if we are not expecting God to do the next thing, we're going to miss it. What is it that you require in order to fulfill your destiny? Maybe you require another level of financial freedom. Go on and put it in the atmosphere and say, no, not only do I want to have access to more finances or not only do I want to be debt free, but I have to based on the assignment on my life. There are some things that God is going to begin to say to you and speak to you. And you're going to find out that it's a requirement that you get deeper um, engaged and, and, and deeper um, um, connected to the word of God. And so now it's going to be a requirement that you study your word. It's going to be a requirement even the more that you understand the word. So you're going to have to find teachers and find groups and find classes. It's a requirement in this season. Even in your relationships, we did our day where we talked about relationships, but there are going to be some relationships again that you're going to require in this season. There are going to be those that you pour into, and there's also going to be those that pour into you. No longer are you going to be an empty vessel pouring out, pouring out, pouring out, and not having anyone pour into you. It's a requirement. 
Maybe you have just thrown aside the idea of ever being accepted or loved, but it's a requirement. You need to know that you are loved and that you are accepted and that you are worthy to be in relationships that are mutually respectful and mutually beneficial. It's a requirement in this season. I'm excited y'all because I believe even as I'm talking right now, that Holy Spirit is dealing with you while you're listening and he is bringing to the forefront all of those things that are required for you in this season. There are some of you that are listening to me that are part of this group and you are saying it's a requirement that I begin to pray more. I got to get connected to God more. I got to move out on into another level in my, in my prayer and in my intercession. This is the time for it. This is the time for it. I want you to begin to write down, and I hope that you have your journal, begin to write down those things that are a requirement and then put them before the Lord. Just put them before the Lord and say, Lord, you said that you would provide every need according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. This is a need. This is a requirement for me in this season. I don't have it, but I know that you do. And I know that you give good gifts to your children. That's it. All you got to do is talk to your daddy and he will respond to you. And before you know it, those things that you have asked him for will begin to manifest in your life. I don't know what your requirements are. You do. I don't know. Listen, there's some things that you have settled for. You're not settling in this season. You're not settling for just any old thing. You're going to be very definitive about, about what you will and will not accept, what you do and what you do not need. And you're going to put your foot down. You're going to connect with God on a whole nother level and you're going to begin to see the requirements that you ask for. The things that you're seeking him for are going to begin to manifest. Whew, my goodness. I'm so excited about you. I'm so excited about what God is doing in and through you. It's only getting better and better. I can't wait for us to connect tomorrow as we continue on our journey to a transformed mindset that allows us you know, to keep it moving. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Blessings.